Hi there, in this lecture, I will show you how you can actually utilize this DeepSeek AI tool for your data analysis or to make your data analysis more faster. So DeepSeek is getting much popularity nowadays and it is already um, a free model and that's why it some, sometimes take uh, much time or sometimes it is unable to do something. But let us try it uh, with our data set that we already have analyzed. This is our main data set. So if I upload the data set to this DeepSeek, it is saying that this data format is not supported. The supported format is mentioned here. So at first you have to save your SPSS data set into Excel file. After that, you can actually import the Excel file in your uh, data uh, in your DeepSeek uh, software. So let us uh, convert this particular data set into Excel SX format and then giving the name as Excel data and then save it. That Excel data you can actually import in DeepSeek. This Excel data I am importing and here it will take some time to uh, upload the data and uh, sometimes you will find that the data is uploaded sometimes you will see that it is not uploaded you can again um, refresh the page and you can upload your data so let us give it without any instruction then let's see how DeepSeek can actually analyze the data so it is actually doing the uh, uh, reasoning part you can click here the deep think if you click here you will see that how DeepSeek is basically thinking it will also take much time if you click here the search button it will also search over the internet and come up with the results but I am not clicking this too so that the uh, results is coming faster so here you can see that it has uh, generated some insights let's say it is said that the data set has the following columns ID a gender effort expectancy and the intention to continue in, and it is also said that the gender is a numerical representation of the gender and these are the uh, numerical values and here you can see one uh, null or missing value that we already have uh, deleted from this particular data set as it was a outlier and uh, here are some steps that are shown by this particular uh, AI that these things can be done like data cleaning, descriptive statistics, mean, median, standard deviation with these three, analyze the distribution, frequency distribution of this variable and correlation can be done among three, then visualization can be done, scatter plot to visualize the relationship between variables and further analysis. So it is already suggesting you how you can actually analyze the data. If you need any specific help you can uh, give the instruction just copy the instruction of the data analysis and paste it and you will see that it will give a uh, step-by-step -step guide to you so let us see how the step-by-step -step guide is generated by this particular ai tool it is taking some time but still it will give your response as soon as the thinking process is done so descriptive statistics for participants demographic and outcome variables it is showing you how you can actually do this you can determine the descriptive statistics for this variable and the SPSS output. You can use these tables and the interpretation has been also given how you can actually interpret. And the mean score is also given. That means the analysis is almost done some of the descriptive analysis and it is showing how you can actually explain your data. And graphical representation, how you can create the plots and other things using histogram. These are the shown here. And, and how you are going to interpret the data is also shown here the statistical tests so it also suggests the simple linear regression as i already have told that if you are not certain about what test to apply you can ask the deep seek and it will actually give you the answer so it is saying that the outcome variable is intention and the predictor variable is uh, effort expectancy and the assumptions to test linearity we already have tested normality tested and the home scedasticity and independence there's a not required much that's why i have tested the main two assumptions here and the findings you can also see the regression uh, our regression equation has been given here y equal to a plus bx that i already have interpreted and you can see that if effort expectancy is 50 how we are going to calculate so it is giving the reason here and you can see the descriptive statistics is it is also generated the analysis you can also check back with the SPSS output and here you can see that the equation is already given but 
I think this equation is not correct because we got a negative sign here and this is not the actual result. So I think uh, it will not be um, as much accurate as SPSS just it will it can actually give you some ideas how to do that how to analyze the data what all are the tools that you can apply and so on. So in the later on upcoming videos we will also show the other ways by which you can actually utilize this particular deep seek so i will share all the materials with you you can practice the data and analyze them and you can actually check back the my outputs and you can also practice all those thank you so much